Women get a kick out of interrupting and disappointing men. You got to understand that, man. They know your interest level. They know when you like them a lot. And that's when the games begin in most cases. But at the same time, you get one guy who's saying the same thing you do, but his energy is different. He's saying the same thing you do, but it's he really is nonchalant in the heart, and he really don't he really care less if she say yes or no. It's a, he's giving off a different frequency than you. You're giving off a more saying the same thing this guy's saying, but you're giving off a desperate energy. They can read energy well. Same thing with these cell phones and stuff. You could just press this channel, this channel, this channel. You see what I'm saying? Same cell phone, different channel. You're saying the same thing as this man's saying, but it's a different channel. It's a different energy. So she's susceptible to this guy's energy because he's coming across as nonchalant and like a player and confident. He's, he's coming across confidently that he know he can get it. And he, she can sense this guy really, though. they very in tune. Their brain is very keen to different sound frequencies of a man and they can sense fear like an animal and dog they, women can sense fear they can sense confidence so you can say the same thing the exact same way this guy said it but the energy behind it is different it's all about the energy you have to give off a serious confident frequency when you're dealing with women you can't care if they say no at all you can't care if they say no. I'm telling you. You can't care. Women nowadays love telling you no. They love gaslighting you. They love love bombing you. They want to get your hopes high so they can slam the door in your face. That's why they like standing you up the most. It's nothing like hanging a phone up on you or standing you up. They love that. They want to build your hopes up so high. They say this dude is so high. And he's so highly interested in me. His hopes are so high that they just can't wait to just cut the rope and watch you fall. I know that sounds evil. All women ain't like this. But yes, a lot of them are. And they do want to see you fall flat. And they're not going to give you no cushion to land on or nothing after they cut the rope. They get a kick out of this. Why? Because they got demons in them. Spiritual entities that they have collected from a lot of places, from their family, from the men that they have let smash them. Human beings carry demons and collect demons through touch be careful who you hug be careful who hand you shake and most of all man 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 the one we all come short at be careful who you with because the yink of yink of is serious if you yink of yink of with the wrong person if you yink of yink of with the wrong person a demigod can get inside of you or something. You don't want that wrong demon get in you. You're going to get these headaches, man. I had to get a few. All demon possession, not the same. You're not going to be sticking. Ah, ah, ah. You ain't going to be sticking your tongue out and all that. You're just going to get. These demons can help influence the negativity and discomfort in your body. Sometimes you get headaches. Sometimes you can't sleep. Well, a lot of times you get headaches. A lot of times you can't sleep. Um, they can help you. Press on certain emotions so you can think negative. They can't think for you, but they can press on certain emotions. So they find this spot in your brain where they pressing on. Come on, man. Think negative. They press on it. Think negative. Come on, think negative. So they know how to, they're trying to, they press the button. But at the end of the day, it's still your choice on how you're going to carry it. Got to stay prayed up at all times because you never know what demon has inside you. And if it gets strong enough hold on you, you will do some damage. You will do some of the devil's work if it get a strong enough hold on you. But a lot of you guys 
are good people. And a lot of times the demons just pop out of you. You have a headache and all of a sudden you feel, boom, you hear something, boom, in your ear. The demon had popped out of you. Nothing he can do with you. The demons are looking for a good host. They're looking for a good host that's going to get a job done. If you're not getting the job done, then they ain't going to stay with you long. Most of the time. But if you're getting something done and they can feed off you, you know, they can feed off your fear and you can bring some entertainment to them. Especially if you ain't got God in you. They stay in you real long. But if you got God in you, they might latch on for a, sec for a second or two. But they'll pop out eventually. They'll go away. Especially when you, you know, you're going to church, you're praying, you're fasting. They'll pop out your system. But some of you, some people got legions of demons in them. The demons, so many demons are so comfortable inside these. And some people wear. Some people got hundreds and thousands of demons in them. And you will never know because they seem so normal. But they're the type of person that'll laugh if a <clears throat> if a woman get they'll laugh if um Old lady get hit by a car or something. They'll laugh of some treacherous things. You see what I'm saying? They'll laugh some treacherous, extreme, extreme things. That's what they do. And you just don't want to be a part of that demonic in it. So a lot of women, only way you can not be a part of this um, is by... Not worrying, you know, not worrying about women too seriously. Love yourself. Learn to love yourself. Develop some form. Develop some form of arrogance. I just say confidence. But whatever you want to call it, because some people are going to mistake confidence for arrogance. Most people don't know the difference. They say they do, but they don't. Love yourself like you never did before. And with this technique that I've been giving the guys in these past two weeks, it's gonna help you get confidence. My emails are blowing up because guys are using this technique to their benefit and they're seeing the difference. But guess what? So many guys gonna do the technique that eventually all the women gonna act right. This technique that I'm teaching you guys is the cure. This might change the whole game. If you implement this technique properly, and I'm, I'm telling you guys to keep it within reading that nation, but it's not. It's going to get so common that everybody is going to start spreading. So you better be the first to jump on to this now. And then the women ain't going, they're not going to have no choice but to act right with this technique. If you want the technique, message me on Instagram. If you want the technique, some call it a trick, some call it a technique. I call it a technique now. Um, so message me on this, this technique. Uh, we, it does cost forty for me to tell you about it. Um, it costs forty. Um, I take cash out of PayPal. But if you want a consultation with me, message me on Instagram as well. If you want the technique, message me on Instagram. If you want my book passage, message me on Instagram too. My latest book passage. Um, press like, subscribe, hit the bell. Watch the next video all the way through. Subscribe to my next. Subscribe to my other YouTube channel in the description box, TikTok. Download my songs. Everything is in the description box, all right? But stay prayed up in Jesus' name because none of this ain't worth nothing. And none of this don't make sense if you ain't connected to Jesus. So stay prayed up in Jesus' name. Read the Bible. Give your life to Jesus, man. I'll holler at y'all later on. Stay prayed up. And don't forget... Women love to disappoint you. They'll go to the extreme of marrying you. Not because they love you, because they can, it's a check off, they check it off their list. Marriage to a lot of women and modern day women, Western women, that's why you guys gotta, if you want, if you want to know, I'm gonna have to do a, a separate video about this. I'm gonna touch on it real quick. If you wanna know how to I'll tell you. Hey, message me on Instagram if you want to know what I was what I was just about to tell you, okay? Message me on Instagram if you want to know what I was about to tell you. Because it's crucial if you want a relationship.
if you want a real relationship, okay? Message me on Instagram if you want that. If you want that, what I was just about to tell you. But also, message me on Instagram on Alan Ray and that show if you want the technique on how to attract beautiful women of your choice. And if you want my latest book passage or if you want a consultation. Much love to you. Alan Ray and that show is the Instagram. The link is also in the description box. Hey, much love to all y'all. Stay prayed up in Jesus Christ's name. I'm out.